Bummer. It's raining. I called Fred, the grader. He said he's still coming. I don't think we can work in this though. And it kind of rained harder after I talked to him, so. We'll see, he's gonna come check it out. All right, you ready? You've already done your chores. Uh, we could do my chores. What, no uh, getting up early this morning, doing chores, going fishing? Yeah, he wouldn't get up. I think we're gonna have to get up early, do chores, and then clean the house. That's what happened when mom's fi mom feels better. <laughs> she starts finding all the things that fell through the cracks. It's just the work, cleaning the house. Our house, the winter pole barn for the cows. This is what they need to finish work up on. I think they need to lay gravel, but they need this to be dry or else it will never dry out. They lay it on wet. This is pretty wet right here. This must be like a, I don't know, something or other. Because out there it seems all right. Look who's coming with and we aren't even, got him on a leash. Are you coming with us? Are you coming with us? Do you enjoy this? Do you enjoy this? Is this a game? Is this a game? Uh, 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 let's go crazy. Hopefully, Randolph will still come because we're going to have a mobile cow shelter today. They still came. That's the graders. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's what I want to see. Randolph, you guys are getting a mobile shelter today. I know you want your mom, you want your baby. Let's make that happen. Yesterday we tried taking her in without the baby. She gave less milk. Could have been because she just was stressed out being away from her baby. So we're gonna try bringing them both in today. I guess Jonah wrapped this line around the toes. And it's electrified, so it's grinding it out. There we go. Whoa! All right, there we go. So I've got to get her to go that way and then get in the lane. Oh, she's cooperating. No problem. And then, and then we can let Polly out. Here, hopefully by just letting her under. Come here, Polly. There you go. Good girl. That was easy. Keep her moving. All right, Come let's go. If now we don't want, we want them to keep moving. Come on. Come on. So they don't nurse, so she doesn't nurse it all out. This is the reason we don't like to bring the calf in because she's gonna get better and better at that. She will end up nursing. This would also be another reason for a mobile milking station. She would still be right next to the calf and they would still be separated. Are you stuck? Here comes Stud Muffin. Here comes Flossie. They're running to get to Phyllis. Stud Muffin, Flossie, Moose and Hamburger just broke through their paddock. Look at that. Stressed out. And they pick on her. She's in the lower, she's on the bottom of the pecking order. Look at that. I forgot, today I actually want Flossie. We've been drying her off, she's gone two days not milking, now we need to milk her one more time and then she's done. So you gotta get out of the stanchion, honey. We gotta do Flossie first. Go in the stall, honey. I know, it's throwing you off. She keeps wanting to go back in the stanchion. I know, honey, it's confusing. It's hard for these two days. They're getting a new habit and you gotta switch it up. I could go back there and herd her, but then I think she'll just come right through here to her calf and Lily. And I wanna keep everybody safe. So we're just gonna, come on, come on, come on. Maybe, will she let me pull her with her collar? <laughs> I doubt it. No, no, no. No, she's gonna wanna go back and stand. Come on, come on. I just sent Lily to, to get Jonah. He could help me, because as soon as she's out, we can put pressure on her from behind to come this way, and I can stay here. She can't find Jonah. Okay, come on. You go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Please go in. Just go in. No, not this way. In. 
There you go. There you go. There you go. Go in there. Okay, stud muffins right there. Let's see if we can sneak him by or sneak her by. They like this ice cream grass. Luchadors. Oh shoot, stud muffins going. Arun has come and got me. Before we milk, we're gonna check. Arun's been setting up for the the harvest. The reason I showed you those cows and how they reacted, when we took one cow away, it's stressful on the herd. And a lot of times people will say, hey, why are you harvesting the animal right in front of the other animals? Get them away and then harvest them. Uh, so as to not freak out the other animals or whatever. Well, like Brianna says, sometimes we project human emotions and responses and reasoning onto animals and it's not necessarily the case. We have to think like an animal. You saw when I took Phyllis, I'm gonna plan that better. When I took Phyllis away, those other animals came running. They were stressed out. They don't always get that excited. I don't know what it was about this morning, but there's some tension there. But what I've noticed, and when you harvest an animal in the field and it drops, I don't know what it is about it, but it's not like, it's not that at all. It's, they just continue to graze. They might even come and sniff it a little bit. And it's much more peaceful to harvest in the field. And that's one reason we insist on doing it on farm. We don't want to separate them, trailer them off to some butcher or, or, or move them somewhere else. We just like to do it on field. It's just more peaceful for them. It's more humane. They never see it coming. And then it also, if you get an animal excited before a harvest, it can uh, release, is it amino acid? Something. They release and it affects the meat and can affect the quality of the meat. Two barrels to uh, keep them in the cool room overnight. A bucket for the liver and heart, and those goodies. A hose. Two four by fours, which are good for propping them up when we lay them on his back. Buckets. You always need some buckets. Tractor. Gambrel. We got the gambrel. We'll need to take this out with us. Oh. With a chain. So we'll put that in the tractor. Okay. So just unhook the gambrel part. And then we got chains. We got knives. Uh, a beef butchering is very simple. Like oh, yeah. You don't have to get any water heated up. No can of whistle. No, no. Just a knife, some chains. Uh, something to hold them up with. Yeah. We got tea, we got hand sanitizer. There you go. Good job. I washed her off. It's been two days since we milked her. Her udder's going pretty low, so that's good. I think this will help drain out whatever's left. Prevent mastitis. And then we're gonna put completely not milk her again. Yeah. It's kind of easing into it. We didn't quit our cold turkey. But almost. I've decided to take my hat off while milking. One, to get the contact with the cow. And two, keep the cow hairs off my hat. Animal contact's good. Supposed to be really healthy for you. She ended up probably giving us a down. Uh, we got Phyllis up next. Thank you very much, Flossie. That's it. That's it for Flossie for a couple of months. For those who don't know, she's gonna have a calf in a couple of months, and we'll let her, you know, just put all her energy towards that. And we'll be getting milk from her again soon enough. Becky, you feeling like a million bucks today? I feel really great. Eight hours of sleep last night. That's amazing. Yeah. So, I think that we should take a moment and I want to let you know, because I read the comments. Uh -huh. You got a lot of people that care about you. Thank when you. When we post a video that you're not doing well, a lot of people go and see it and wish you well and say prayers. That warms my heart. It's, it's very nice. I think it helps. Yes. It does and it makes me, I don't know, I just feel very supported. Read that comment you just read to me that you got. Is this in our member area? This is in the member area. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm doing, I'm just patrolling. Today I watched our four-year-old granddaughter. I asked her, and this is from Tara. I asked her if she wanted to watch Tumble Leaf, to which she said, no, let's watch Farm Family to see how the mommy is doing. She prays for her back on her own and the baby. Thanks for all you do. That's Aww. so sweet. Little girls like that. Teddy, you gonna stay off that new couch? <laughs> well, he's not staying off the old one. But we're, we've tried. We're trying. At least we started the training before the new couch got here, yes, right? We did. We did start. Whoa, look at you. That's a lot, honey. You're a champ. All right, she gave a full bucket there. And, you know, I think she gave about the same. 
with our calf here, so I don't think that made a difference. I think we can leave the calf out in the field. She's just naturally slowing down. They get a lot at first, and then it just kind of... Oh no. It's starting to drizzle. He's putting gravel down over this pad. I guess you got to do that before you concrete it. I think in long term, it's going to be best to have it. The deep bedding on concrete so it can be cleaned out more easily. What do you think, Fred? Is it too wet now? Uh, I'm going to try to get that covered before it gets too wet. Oh, okay. I don't know if you guys heard that, but he's going to try to... It started to drizzle again, and it's dry, so maybe he's going to try to spread it out before it does get wet. It arrived. Our couch has arrived. You excited? I did not have, I did not have faith it was coming today. Yeah. I know. And then there it is. We got to get it in before it rains though. All right. We have a couch explosion, but I kind of need to do this, but I also kind of need to go try the, the shade shelter. What do you think? You just sit here. It's fine. Okay. It's, it's in here. Out in the sun. It's, it was it's, so it's nice. It's out of the rain. The sun went away and okay. it's raining. Indian uh, Indian Wednesday tonight. So we're, in we're having Thai food. Cooking. We're oh, Thai. we're having Thai Wednesday. <laughs> cool. I'm like, that's cool. So I have some moment. I don't have to cook tonight. Yes. Community in effect tonight. All right, this is exciting. Randolph's done. We've got the poles pulled out. He's moved it. Somebody moved it. I don't know how. He moved it by hand. Can I move it by hand? In a pinch. I could maybe move that. If, if I can kind of pull that, I think so. He's tent braced over there. He's got a tent brace or cables right here and there. We've got a brace up there. Skids, two by four going across. I think it's ready. What do you guys think? So far so good, we're on the road. We have a little bit of skidding right there. I'm pretty happy about that. They don't need it today. It's evening. They have trees where they are anyway. Tomorrow though, tomorrow, I don't, I don't guess they'll really need it there either. There's trees there, but we're gonna put it in their paddock anyway because we want them to start getting used to it. So let's do that tomorrow. Or maybe not, I forgot, the beef butchering tomorrow. I don't know, it's gonna be a big day. Maybe we'll get it in, maybe we won't. Just depends on how that goes.